Well, hello there. Welcome to our second video in our Cloud Plus refresh due to the new test in 2024. Um, if we look here, the release date of the exam was July 16th of 2024. This is the specific exam we're work, uh, working on. I'm gonna link to this down below. Uh, and the part that we're gonna cover today is jobs that use the CompTIA Cloud Plus, okay? So this little section right here, let's get into it. So, um, system administrators. So they manage and maintain computer systems and networks. They do this by installing, configuring, updating software and hardware. They monitor systems performance and they troubleshoot issues. Uh, they ensure really the security and the efficiency of technology, making sure that things work well. So they're more the day-to-day -day main, uh, maintainers of the IT systems. They typically work on existing systems, not necessarily designing. So depending on the organization. You're in. Now I should give a caveat. Just because something says it's a system administrator doesn't mean the company's using that term correctly. So you always want to look at the job responsibilities per that employer to understand what they mean. Systems engineer. System engineer has responsibilities to do things like design and implement, implement complex systems and networks. So these are tasks that at a small uh, place would have been combined with the systems uh, going back with the system administrator. Um, in a larger place, you're gonna have different functions. So they also help integrate various components to ensure that they work together seamlessly. They develop and test systems and prototype. They provide the technical support and guidance to others. So systems engineers are not frequently involved in the day-to-day -day operations. They work more to improve, update, and, and create the future design um, and improve uh, systems, looking at the next version. So an IT manager, responsibility. They oversee the IT department and its staff. They develop and implement IT policies, procedures, strategies. Um, they manage budgets and resource, resources. Uh, they ensure and align IT with the business goals. So IT managers may or may not be technical. Uh, they need to know enough to make sure that the people that work under them are, are improving, they're doing what they're expected, and they're doing uh, an appropriate quantity of work. Um, obviously, it doesn't hurt for an IT manager to be technical. Cloud specialist. Um, it's basically a system administrator with a cloud focus. So when we talked about system administration, install, configure, update, monitor, secure, well, they manage and implement cloud-based systems and services. Basically install, configure, update, monitor, and secure, manage and implement. They monitor cloud performance and optimize resources. One of the th things that's slightly different when you're a system administrator, you're thinking about the hardware and do we have enough? Do we need more? If you need more, that is money. Cloud specialists, they don't have to think about if they need more. It's just money. You can get more if you just pay for it. So thinking more about the money and less about the capital that the system administrators have to think about. Uh, they, they provide support for cloud related issues. A security specialist, this is the cybersecurity part of it. They protect IT systems and data from cyber threats. They implement the security measures and protocols so that things are safe. Uh, they conduct security assessments, audits, training, uh, and they respond to security instances and breaches. So this focuses more on IT security. Once again, in a small place, this might be rolled all into back down to like a system administrator. They might just call it all one. 
uh, depends on how big it is. And in a larger place, you might have a, a large number that fill its smaller roles. It just depends on what type of organization you're at. So a cloud engineer, they're focused on system engineering. So they have responsibilities, um, basically the same as a system engineer, a design, integrate, prototype, technical support, but they need to be thinking about being well architected. And this is where, where Amazon's well architect framework comes into play. So I just wanna, uh, I'll link to these down below. So uh, well architected is an entire framework. They have a white paper on it. There's all sorts of cool graphics and stuff. Um, but what I want you to understand with the well architect is that there are differences in cloud computing that are there because you have the ability to do things differently. Um, and we'll get uh, to some of those in later videos. So pillars of the well-architected framework, operational excellence, security, reliability, performance, cost optimization, and sustainability. So we can get those from pillars right here. Happy day. Um, and once again, I often see this as a design, uh, drawing as well. It's a nice graphic, um, but I didn't make one for today. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. This is a journey that will be hopefully only a few weeks in the making. Um, uh, actually hope to knock a lot of this out in a, in a day or two, uh, and then I'll release the videos. Um, but we'll see you in the next one.